Hey all, and welcome back to the HFC playthrough of Steven Universe Unleash the Light. You may be wondering why we're starting from the Switch's uh, dashboard here. It's because there was actually a new update not long after we finished the last recording session. Tanner and I were discussing, like, oh, when's the Connie and Lion update going to drop? Turns out it was either the very night that we recorded or, you know, the day after. So, uh, eggs on our face. But let's go ahead and get things started here. And, uh, after we finish with Hesodite's warship, I guess we can head back to the Pirates of Light and show you these new characters. Yeah, and uh, it's kind of cool that they actually updated the icon to add her onto it, because, uh, hey, you don't see those updates happen too, too often where they actually straight up change the icon of the game. Mm-hmm. Oh, good old grumpy face. Uh, it's funny, actually, I was chatting to them on... Um twer and uh, they implied that this is not the final update so there may be more dlc to come hmm. you know with the way that they added in just a whole new area before it's like yeah just throw another one in we can definitely do that and oh, oh look at all this mm -hmm. yeah connie joins the adventure uh you can now play an infinite amount of randomly generated stages complete the main story to unlock that'll be a uh, extras video new loot general improvements such as stronger fusions and more bingo bongo we actually do have a whole set of patch notes here, but hey, I guess they included it in the game, telling us what exactly we uh, we got there. I think I'm gonna use Garnet for a little bit, because I honestly haven't been uh, using her, and uh, maybe replace Peridot with a bit of uh, Amethyst. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, uh, she's, she's good, but she's a lot more uh, thinking-based, uh, whereas sometimes you just need the unga bunga damage. Indeed, mate, indeed. Alrighty. Stage five, let's -a go. Just looking at the patch notes here, a few more interesting things that are were not noted there. Um, new achievements, new badges, new charms. The max level cap has been increased from 30 to 35, which means that more um, upgrade points. So it seems like you couldn't get everything before. You might still not be able to, but you can at least get more. A certain boss fight that had a branching path is now replayable. Very nice. Wasn't the biggest fan of a uh, Tiger Philanthropist as an episode. I found it to be a little bit mid, but uh, otherwise it was fine. Just living my best life. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's a an all-around improvement. I shouldn't have. This is something that was pointed out in the comments to us, but uh, when you click on these, the other option is to disenchant them. Which, I mean, we've clicked through quite often, very quickly, and I just thought it was discard because of course I just see the dis and it's the second one there but disenchanting actually lets you get rid of them for a, a little bit of cashola which hey at least you know it's not just throwing them out because I would never do that for just nothing but you know if there's something that you don't want to use you can just you know get rid of it for a little bit very nice very nice all right so amethyst what you got waiting in uh Upgrades. When Amethyst reaches 20% health or below, she gains a lucky buff. That might be good. Uh, now immune to stun. The burn effect from Amethyst's fire abilities can now get lucky hits every time it triggers. Yeah, that's 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 pretty good there, because those lucky hits there. Um, if we make her kind of a luck-based moveset, that could be pretty good. Very good, very good. Uh, yeah, that should do for now. Let's get cracking. So we're still going through uh, Hesodite's place here. We had some fun uh, puzzles last time. Seems there's more of them here. Yeah, for sure. So we got to make sure that we're... Uh, we got our thinking caps on and... Ooh, that's new and pink. Did you biz miss me? Hmm, defense, go up. But attack, go down. That's a really specialized one. Yeah. Mm, I prefer the strong Unga Bunga hit. Hey guys, how you doing? Speaking of Unga Bunga, let's give them a nice whack. Indeed. Okay. So those guys, if we remember, they explode. So we don't want to be hitting them with anyone who walks up to hit them. We want to be doing some distance damage to them. See if we can uh, get this working then. Nice. 
That's using your noodle, Tom. Now, I was hoping when we disenchanted, uh, you know, things we didn't need, we'd get some items in return, or God forbid some chroma, but uh, alas, we did not. I guess I will have to cope for now. You know, a little bit of extra money is nice, but that is something that is quite easy to get. You just get it from kind of doing almost anything. So yeah, it's like I can I can see why it's a nice thing, but it's not a game changer that we haven't been doing it. Ooh, big smart man over here. Yeah, let's see if I can actually do this correctly. Nice. Nice. Yo, that's the good stuff. Oh, attack up as well, it seems. Yeah, I think that was a um uh that was a buff that we gave her through her level up there, so. And ooh, yeah, if you hit the one in the middle, that should explode on all that if you get this right. Nice! A little too far away, but that's alright. Uh, what you got, Bismuth? A little bit of an attack up. Eh. Red or blue, that's fine. I prefer yellow myself. I don't know. Yellow, yellow is fine, I guess. I like getting the uh, the Kanto stars. So just looking here at a few other sort of uh, things that have changed in this update. Uh, one, if you're outside of um, battle and you press the action button where there's nothing on the screen, you can now force uh, what would be their idle dialogue. So, you know, where you just let them stick around and they, they, they talk about stuff, uh, you can get that whenever you want. Interesting. Uh, and then, yes, improving the power of the fusions along with, you know, various other balance updates. Yeah, good stuff. I like patch notes. They're like the best thing that we, we ever got from, uh, from, from patches there. And A. Alright, let's see what uh, Garnet's working with here. Uh, just look for the green, Tom. Look for the green. Oh, that's a big old green. Now we can take that off of uh, off of her for now, because we're not using uh, Pearl in our party. Why not? I'll take it. Slightly luckier Keytar. Yes, yeah, slightly luckier. Oh, she has a lot of uh, skill points ready and waiting. Yeah, let's take a look to see if there's there's a like a one further down that we want to work towards because those ones are usually the ones that are are quite useful. That return to sender is quite good there. What was that about guaranteeing a star point? Actually, that's pretty good there. But this one says guarantees. So if you do counter stance mm -hmm. and you defeat an enemy, you get an extra star. Yeah, that's kind of situational, though. Yeah, yeah, I think just, just making it so that they're easier to do is definitely something that's worth it. Alrighty, let's continue. Aha. Font of healing. Very nice. I don't need that right now, per se. Mm, but it's good to know that it's there. And ooh, we got another key card there. Like, I know he's a missile launcher, but all I see is a boombox, and what is that yellow one? Yeah, interesting. My only thought is that if you send out a character that walks towards it, is it going to, like, send them back? I don't know, but he's lost his thing, so let's go in for the kill. Yeah, that's strange. That's a... That's a new... all these new gimmicks! I don't know how to feel! Alright, Bezmuth, you can have a whack in it. Good, 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 good. Keep it going. Steven, you know what to do. I've gotta do what I do best. So yeah, that square was a mystery for us in that battle, but uh, whatever, I'm sure it will come up again. I mean, they're not just going to make something new and just use it the one time. That would drive me insane because then I would spend the whole game looking for the next instance of it. 
Chungus McGee over here. He's a big boy. He's got his own limb extenders that are also like looking like Frankie from One Piece with those big orb shoulders. Uh, do we have? Yes, we do. Let's go, Bismuth. Oh, yeah. Slam a jammer. Perfect. More? <laughs> Why not? Now there's a big meter on his chest I'm noticing that's going down when you hit it. I wonder what that is. Is that just a representation of his health? <laughs> I'm honestly not sure, Tanner. Either way, he's dead. That's, I, oh, that's a good lose there. I like the, the metal slug explosions. Uh, this is a very confusing sub-level. <laughs> just lots of things happening, really. Oh. Ah, I see you there. Ah, what the hell? Let's go through here. So this one needs two. Oh, is this gonna be part of the puzzles here? Hmm. Well, I can already see a solution that should finish it up pretty much instantly. Hey, go for it, mate. So you're gonna take, uh, Bismuth? Uh-huh. And you're gonna attack the, um, if, if you think about it in, like, a number pad, number four. So, here? No, uh, one to your left. Yeah, there you go. Oh, but that's gonna hit the corner one, so that's fine. That should, because then we can just hit them individually, the other two. Uh, I gotta be careful here. That'll hit there. And then you can have um, uh, Amethyst shoot fire at the last one, because that's only one point and one target. Yeah, good point. Not the most graceful of solutions, but it works. Yeah, and that's the important thing. We still don't know what that yellow square does. feel like it's going to be a thing where if you step on it, but it seems like every single time we've done that, the characters have just conveniently sidestepped. Well... That's the exit. We don't want to go there. Uh, there was one more locked door there for us to uh, to open. Yeah, right there. I'm still missing one. I am looking. I am looking. Are you looking in the top right corner? Ha <laughs> ha! Might as well use it now. Right, big brain time. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, oh, this is easy. Just bismuth the middle, and then amethyst fire the middle once it changes. Yeah, that has to go through something, though. What does? The fire. Well, yeah, you're gonna hit the middle one. Oh, wait, but I wonder... Hmm. We'll, we'll try. We'll see. I think that'll work. So I don't think it'll block the, the middle one there. Well, I guess we'll see. Or you could even send Garnet to just attack the middle one. Oh yeah. I'm overthinking is what I do. Curses foiled again by the crystal gems. <laughs> These simple logic puzzles that they definitely haven't played a lot of Sonic Adventure to, to be able to do. Because that's all <laughs> I can ever think of is that one exact room. Ah, an ambush, eh? All right, if you insist. Again with these things. <laughs> they vex me so. Maybe we're just killing them fast enough that they don't actually end up getting used. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Sorry, Steven. About as much damage as getting a, you know, a bit of a bonk on the noggin. Hey. Are we going to uh, try out something? Haven't used Smokey in a while. That's true, Let's yeah. And actually, Smokey would be really good because then you can um, do the yo-yo um, -yo on the row of them. Yeah. Out of range. Gosh darn. Uh, we gotta move ya. 
Actually, before I do this, uh... <laughs> the strong. And you know what? We didn't equip the badge that lets uh, them get more turns with the um, fusions there, so we're gonna have to remember to put that on with Steven. We didn't put that on just specifically because we weren't using any character with fusions. But now that we are, we should probably put that back on when we have uh, another turn there. Dawn. Yeah, the best thing to do is uh, let it fall in there if you can. A little bit of a buff, it's all good. Let's see what we've got. You're gonna love this. No, not the Beyblade spin. You know, it makes me real, like, actually feel old when now I Google Beyblade, and I, like, you know, before if you were to Google Beyblade, it'd be like, oh yeah, you'd see all the Beyblade stuff from when you were a kid, but now you Google it, and you look, and you're like, I don't know who any of you are, <laughs> I have to go to, like, page three to see Tyson at all, I'm like, this hurts. I feel old. <laughs> I have been left behind by Beyblade. Nice. Smokey the best. Smokey's good. I'm watching you, Tanner, with your smoky hatred. Hey, you know what? If I if I, if there's something I'll say is that I enjoy smoking various meats, so therefore I just naturally enjoy saying Smokey's name. Okay, fusion badge. There we go. All fusions rely on Steven, thus it's all good. Hey! Now that's what I call loot. Level up totem. We're gonna definitely want to use that uh, with a character who's pretty, uh, pretty just leveled up. I mean, we could just give that to Steven since he did level up. <laughs> yeah, true. Back. Why the hell not? I mean, we gotta put him in the party. Might as well get him all strong. Ooh, we could do it even nice. twice if we this? wanted. Play cheese pizza. Okay. I've got just the thing. What you think again? Yeah, because I mean we're gonna use him. It it matters the most that he survives so we can use items. So I think getting him all leveled up is a smart move. Excellent. Uh, still a little bit to go here. This one seems shorter, though. And and it is uh, interesting that, you know, well, we said, oh, Peridot gave this set of levels, and then I was reading the notes, and I'm like, oh, it's kind of a shame that, like, Connie's doesn't, and then I remembered, no, there is the Black Hole Generator, which is that, you know, pretty much like a roguelike mode with randomized stuff, Let's which, that's cool. I think started. that's a neat uh, way to increase game time. Mm-hmm, I agree. Oh. There you are, the Steven. You will now deliver the prism to me. I'm literally on the Warcraft, bro. Well? <laughs> error free. It's the error for you and me. No. <laughs> oh. Wow. Not one for, uh... Oh <laughs> empathetic talks, I swear it up. I just... <laughs> Can't get over how Amethyst is just always shining. <laughs> oh, I forgot she had the shiny badge on. Interesting. Well, my first thought is to, yeah, get the guy in the back for sure. You're strong, but I am better, or whatever. You know, you, you could have said stronger than you, but fake Steven Universe fan. Well, I can't because that's an Undertale thing. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> there are people who actually think this. Picture of people who actually believe this. Not found. It's just like how people think that the Fortnite Chug Jug with you is an original song because it has more views than the original American Boy. It's like, oh, it hurts. 
I don't like that, Tanner. No. Hello? It's just a bunch of fucking squares. Oh, it is a bunch of fucking squares. With a puzzle element? Yeah, interesting. Well, I'm gonna go for this if you don't mind. Huh. I'm assuming we don't need to hit the switches. Got it. But maybe we. I have no clue. How bizarre. Do I have to make all of them red? I don't know. I, I say kill the enemies first, and if the battle doesn't win, that's when we gotta do something about it. Maybe they're just there to provide new points for you to hit? Or maybe, like, if they all turn red, something bad happens? I assume red is bad. Yeah, you won't be wrong, though. We good? Yeah, we good. How interesting. It's like they're just throwing in all these new elements and we're just like, uh, I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, it is the most baby RPG ever, and I'm like, oh gosh, what do I do, Tana? <laughs> you know, no, there, there, there's more baby RPGs, I feel, because at least when I'm watching, like, you play this, there is strategy to be, you know, to be seen. There's stuff you can do that actually matters versus some RPGs that I've, you know, seen where it's just like... Well, there's nothing beyond number go up, right? Some, you know, the ones where you have to grind, for instance. It's like, what's the point if, you know, there's no strategy beyond, oh, I just wasn't strong enough. It's like, I find that to be annoying when there's nothing in there beyond the numbers. You know, you gotta think. You gotta you gotta choose your moves where they go and stuff. And that's the cool stuff. That's what I like about from, from RPGs. So even if it is basic, having those strategies is the good stuff. Indeed. Punchy punchy. We're good. Oh, that's what that means. Alright, now we know. Oh, and they can attack them to summon more. That's actually pretty cool. Ooh, those hurt. Damn. Yeah, I... I Oh, oh yeah, she can get one freebie to come back. Ah, oh, right, yeah. That's per battle, I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's not one and done for the whole game. That would be bad. It would indeed, good sir. Now we really don't want those red ones at the end, because, uh... Those hurt! Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we found out the hard way. Okay, so don't run out of HP next time. I've got just Alright. Uh da 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 da. Yeah. But I need more. More sugar. So I was actually um subbing at a school and uh when I was there, the the teacher who because they they go online and I'm just the in-person person. Um but whenever it was downtime, he would put on um binging with Babish, which is a YouTube show. And uh, one thing that he showed to the students was the episode where he made the Together Breakfast from Steven Universe. Nice. And hearing the teacher go, oh yeah, I love Steven Universe, was just like, oh yeah, thank God. It's, it's a nice reminder that every teacher nowadays is a massive nerd. But what about the leftist propaganda they're putting in schools? <laughs> of course, that's why they like Steven Universe. You know, my child watched Steven Universe once, and then they tried to redeem Mussolini by use of a time machine. <laughs> my, my child saw a commercial for Steven Universe, and he said, you know, maybe those, those people on 4chan were right. Maybe they were, Tanner. <laughs> maybe they were. Alright, another one of these? Alright, why not? Not quite perfect, but it's still Sunstone, baby. Immediately, the hits from Sunstone look like they're dealing way more damage. Just from, from the number that's going up, for sure. Come on then, you slag. You want some? Ooh, he's locked on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I want this. Target is too high, but you attack from above! 
yeah, that that's that's still the the wackest thing. I know, yeah, amethyst hit uh, hits in the air there. Oh, idea. Ooh. Oh, now he's on the ground. It's okay. Don't worry about it. That is good strategy there. Bring him down, then whack him. Yeah. Nice. Bellissimo. I like it when Garney gets the level ups. Engineer badge. While wearer shares a position with one of the Paradox Robonoids, takes zero damage from enemy attacks. That is incredibly specific, but I could see that being real good if you use a Paradox there. If you use a Paradox, applying this multiple. There's still got to be something around here that we missed. Nope, don't need that. Secrets! Hey, green. Ooh, that's a good color. Very nice. I likes it, I likes it. We actually have enough to go buy those um, trinkets if, if we want them there. Uh, why not? I'm here. I mean, it is, it is a gotcha roll, but hey, it's better for her. That's good. Sup. Alpha seems to be really working out for us now, it seems. Where is that one? Am I blind? There it is. For more? I shouldn't have. Very nice. Over here, over here. Down. Booyah. Huzzah. Is there a treasure thing over there? Yes, there is. But I think I might have enough for a Paradox thing. Ah, uh, no, we lack the white as usual. And the yellow, yeah. Ooh, almost. So close. Alright. Uh, go over here. Yeah, well, at least, I mean, we have, like, no money, um, but... We can check it out, see what's there, and if uh, if we need to, we can, of course, disenchant a whole bunch of old uh, old stuff, but otherwise, it's, you know... It's whatever. Other stuff uh, around these parts that we can find. Ooh, look at all that. Interesting. Where can we grab yeah. those and use those? I guess they're slightly too big. If only, my If only. Hey. Don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> I knew what type of stage it was going to be going in, but... Krober. Well, this is what this is chanting is for. Era 3 is gonna be different. Sell the pizza. Wood. Oh! oh. Use this charm and receive the reward below. So, the better ones have Chroma. They sure do. Huh. That's exactly what I wanted, holy shit. <laughs> now don't us from a couple minutes ago look like big old dummies. They, why are these ones all giving me Chroma exactly? I, I guess because, well, because like if you see there's the color border around it. So I guess it's like blue is the higher rank that gives the, the ones. Because yeah, these don't. So then the green ones might give... Green ones don't, but blue rank do. Okay. Well, that makes me wonder if, um, if you get a white rare. Oh, there's multiple shops. Uh, if you get a white rarity, you know, item there, if you could spend it for, uh, for the stuff, for the, for the white chroma. Disenchant, yes. Disenchant, yes. Disenchant, yes. Adding in that disenchant is quite nice, but, uh, be- <gasps> You got a white from that! I did. Oh my god, you can! Okay, 
this is a game changer. <laughs> yeah, this was part of the latest update, by the way. Actually, the disenchanting was, uh... Nope. Came with the Peridot one. Yeah, the Peridot one. Not the latest. Who am I to say what is and what isn't in this world? Star points sometimes appear on the mining board. Interesting. Forging in the front party. What's this? The burn effect. Oh, I'm going to save up for that, I think. Yeah, that's worth it. Kind of necessary to uh, finish the stage, it seems. Just looking here, uh, we could have Steven just shield hit all the three in the back. Well, it's got to hit some on the way back. Well, ah. Oh, that sends the Steven thing the back. Okay, I see. Yeah, this is a twofer. Mm -hmm. No, you have failed. You are out of star points. You lose. Can I try that again, please? Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's only gonna hit the one there. God damn oh, it. Oh, and she hits twice! <laughs> God uh -oh. damn it. <laughs> Sorry. Catch. That was the one thing we didn't want to happen. Sorry. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> no oh mind. my god, it worked. Just call me Captain America, because that shit was slick. <laughs> Yeah, the fact- you somehow missed the one up there that sent it back. I can't believe that, but hey, that was pretty cool. Look of the end, Tom, baby. This has to be a secret shop. Oh, there's white chroma. Oh, well, that'll give us, uh, now two white chroma, so if we want to get that, uh, Peridot costume, we can. Uh, I gotta go ahead and, uh, uh yeah. Uh, there we go. Where was the exit, Bursa? Uh, don't the store ones only have uh, the singular one? Oh yeah, that's true. I'm a silly billy. There we go. Alright, crafting time. God, look at all, all our chroma now, just from disenchanting stuff. Ah, uh, here we go. Very nice. And that's all of Garnet's outfits. Mm-hmm. I don't even know which one that one would be for her. Hmm. So I need more yellow and one more white. Um. There's Paradise. Hmm. There you go. Let's have a look at this new costume. Hello. Yeah, Cotton Candy got it. Oh, nice. And what's the, um, what's the bonus there? Oh. Uh, that's not bad. Actually, that's much better. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Come on, give me white chroma. Well, I think for the white, we need to do the purple ones there, because those are those are the rare ones. Yes! Well, then there we go. Look at that. We got it. Heck yeah. Uh, now all I'm missing is a yellow chroma, so... It's not going to give it me, is it? Alas. We'll have to, have to wait for that. Steven has a lot of upgrade points. We should also check on him for that pretty soon. Uh, sure. And two times teamwork points when recycling robinoids or parry decoys. Oh, this is the one we wanted. Incredible. Yeah, that's a good one. Shoot in a lane. Let's 
Should I try a new badge? Maybe unlock a few upgrades? Alright, uh, heals generate 50% more teamwork points. Uh, increases defense by 10%. Targets defeated with Steven Shield Throw are now guaranteed. Yeah, that's too specific. The healing effect is increased by. Yeah. This one's good. Oh, cool. When Steven forms the fusion, the fusion receives an initial heal and also regens health at the start of every turn. Oh, we want that. Yeah, let's wait for that. Alright. <sighs> we are gravy. There's a treasure thing over yonder, so uh, hopefully we can get some yellow chroma in there and get Perry's thing. Ha! Did you see me back there? I was all whap, crap, bam! 